I thought I would share a video for everybody's amusement out there. But first, I want to point out I am a lifelong feminist. I was born a feminist. I will die a feminist. I have this crazy conviction that girls and women out there should be treated fairly, honestly, and kindly, and equally. I know, I know, it's like, how dare I? Treating people fairly, and equally, and honestly, what could I be thinking? Anyhow, roll the clap. With all these colleges, indoctrinating social justice warriors and hyper-feminists... Why, I love the idea! How about we have some colleges actually doing that? That would be great! I love the idea! First we make colleges tuition-free, like a whole lot of other countries, even poorer countries. And this clown says social justice warriors as if that was a bad thing. He says, feminist, as if that's a bad thing. These are two good things. It is a badge of honor to be called a social justice warrior and or a feminist. These are not bad things. These are good things. Ah! 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 After they ruin enough of society. By society, of course, this clown means white privileged male domination of society. Something that we should not only ruin, but get rid of. I would love to see the United States run by women. Black women. Coal black women. I would love that. It would be awesome, but since white male domination society is under threat of being replaced with fairness and honesty and decency and kindness and equality, some people, white male people, are outraged and terrified, quivering in fear that what little privileges these clowns get from their masters higher up the hierarchy might be going away and everybody would be treated equally. These people are terrified of being treated just like black men, just like women, not just any kind of women, but non-white women. These clowns are utterly terrified of equality of people finally being allowed to stand in line with them, behind them, to enjoy what we call the American dream here, these people are utterly terrified that they will have to share things with the rest of society. And if it takes women leading the charge, then I am 100% for that. I wonder if we should discredit the colleges that are participating in these classes and courses and in indoctrination of females. That's right. They are not women. Hell, they're not even people. They're females. That's females. There are a hell of a lot of non-females, i.e. non-women, i.e. not even non-girls. I.e. that is, a.k.a. boys and men who are feminist. I mean, if, uh, if you want me to go into more detail on what's actually happening, you could look up like tons of videos on the internet, but uh, I could do it myself. But I was just curious about the, the training ability of these colleges. So if they make all these indoctrinated feminists and... They go off and they ruin certain sectors of the economy. and That's right, because this person obviously, I mean, he looks like he's an expert on economies. I mean, this guy is the metric from which all of the knowledge about world economy and United States economy 
must now be measured by the standard. This guy knows the economy. I don't believe it. Uh, because, you know, they want to be so much in charge and not do all the, the dirty work. Wait a minute, time out! Dirty work? What dirty work out there requires a penis? Dirty work. What dirty work is it that girls and women, i.e. females, cannot do that somebody with a penis has to do? Must have a penis to do that dirty work. Besides raping, killing, maiming, murdering, robbing, pillaging, and plundering. All, by the way, not good things. Just what jobs, dirty work, are women and girls not qualified to do? I wonder, could you potentially take away that college's accreditation? Interesting. I have a better idea. How about we just deny all uh, uh, women uh, uh, and girls the right to an education? How about if we just like throw them in a burka, I guess, or burlap sack and they walk around escorted by, you know, a man and deny them the right to even learn how to read? That would be a good thing for terrified, fragile, white males. I mean, gee, they would love that, wouldn't they? I have another suggestion. This clown can take a really sharp stick and fuck himself in the eye with it. I like the idea. I'll even send this clown a sharp stick. I will even pre-sharpen it for him. If you just send a shipping address, I will get that out immediately.